Hello Grade 7 learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, I'm going to discuss about the mathematical concept behind scientific notation. So what is scientific notation? So scientific notation is a way of expressing numbers that are too large or too small to be conveniently written in standard form. So gagawin natin siyang in decimal form. So, saan ba ginagamit itong scientific notation? So, usually, itong scientific notation ay ginagamit sa scientific and engineering works. So, as a student, so, it is important to know the basic concepts of scientific notation because it is applicable in some real-life situation. So, now, let's talk about the rules kung paano natin masusulat yung mga given numbers into scientific notation. So, I have here two rules that you need to remember. The first one, if the given number is 10 or greater, we need to move to the left, starting from the uh, decimal point. And then, the power of 10 is positive. And then, if the given number is smaller than 1, move to the right. The power of 10 is negative. So, I will be giving here examples and then we need to write it in scientific notation. Okay? So, let's start. Let me say we have here 10. Yeah. So, I have here 120 million and that is too large. So, therefore, we can write this in scientific notation. So, we are going to use the power of 10. So, since pasok siya dito sa ating first rule, that is 10 greater, we need to move to the left. So, nasan yung decimal point natin na dito sa may dulo? So, dito tayo mag-start. And then, we need to move to the left. And then, kailangan yung makukuha nating number ay less than 10. Okay, so we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So therefore, yung ating uh, whole number ay 1.2. Again, ang kukuhanin ulit nating whole number kailangan ay less than 10 but greater than 0. So, therefore, we have here 1.2 times 10. And then, since nag-move tayo sa left, so ang kanyang exponent ay positive. So, ilan yung ating movement? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, therefore, 120 million can be written as 1 and 2 tenths times 10 to the 8 power. Okay, so let's have our second example. Let me say we have... Hey, so we have here, this is tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions. For example, we have here 567, ten millions. Okay, so we're in... Dito siya pasok sa ating second rule that is smaller than 1. So, hindi pa siya nakaabot ng 1. So, we need to move to the right. So, ito yung ating decimal point. So, kailangan natin siyang i-move going to the right. And then, considering na makukuha dapat nating whole number ay less than 10 but greater than 1. So, let's start. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, dito tayo mag-start sa dito tayo mag-stop sa 5 kasi there are instances na nagkakaroon ng nag, namimislead yung isang estudyante na nag-stop na dito sa 5 but 0 0.5 ay less than sa 1 okay so therefore dito tayo mag-stop sa 5 so therefore we can write it as 5.67 so kukopihin natin siya times 10 and then, 
power of 10 is negative. Since nag-move tayo to the right, it should be negative. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, negative 5. So, therefore, this can be written as 5 and 67 hundredths times 10 raised to negative 5. Again, don't forget positive and a negative exponent. Another. Let us say we have 3.2. Yan. So, how are we going to write 3.2 in scientific notation? So, we didn't have to move the decimal point at all. So, the power of this one is 10 raised to 0. So, hindi na natin to gagalawin since 3.2 is already a number that is less than 10 but greater than 1. So, we can write it as 3.2 times 10 raised to 0. Because the equivalent of 10 raised to 0 is 1. Okay? So, let's have... Another examples for you to uh, understand our lesson. Okay. Okay. So, for an example. So, I will be thinking a hypothetical example. Ayan. So, let me say we have here 28,546. So, therefore, we are going to move the decimal to the left. So, starting dito sa 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, mag-stop uh, mag tayo dito sa pagitan ng 2 and 8. So, we can write it as 2. Point. Copyin natin lahat. 8, 5, 4, 6 times 10 to the fourth power positive so since ang movement niya ay 4 okay next 3456 and 75 hundredths since it is 10 or greater so ito yung ating decimal point dito tayo mag start and then we need to move to the left so 1 2 3 so mag stop tayo dito in between 3 and 4 so we can write it as 3.45 6, 7, 5 times 10 raised to the third power. Okay, so for our last example. Okay, so let me say we have here 10, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000. So we have here 8,900 thousands. So, therefore, that is smaller than 1. We need to move to the right. So, start tayo dito. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, dito tayo mag-stop between 8 and 9. So, we can write it as 8.9 times 10 raised to negative 4. Ayan. So, that's how we write numbers in scientific notation. So, just remember the two rules that I have given. So, I hope that you learned something today. Don't forget to like and share this video. And see you on our next video lesson.